this is a little bit of an impromptu in between for our arc series that we are working on. Um, I realized after logging out that we forgot to do something that is mandatory on the server. There is a specific item I need to find. Actually, no, I think that might have been a different server. Never mind. There was a server that mandated that you have a base saver mod equipped, but apparently that wasn't this one. So instead, what we are going to do is spend a couple moments preparing for tomorrow's um, stream where we are going to be working on building and decorating the base. So we're just going to take a couple minutes and go ahead and make and place some of the decorating crafting tables that we're going to need. Nothing too fancy. It's only going to be a couple minute stream here. But these different tables will allow for a lot of specialty buildings. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab that. We're going to need that for special saddles. Oh, that needs raw metal. But we can go gather that in a few moments. The other tables that we're going to need are the CKF. That's the castles, keeps, and I forget what the other thing is for it. This specific server has not only the normal CKF, but also the CKF um, sci-fi buildings. I'm not actually seeing the castle structures unless they changed how they're done. They might only be craftable in their respective stations. You used to have to take the engram for each individual building piece. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put these structures in what we had built for the animals. Um, the server does want you to keep all animals put away in soul balls. So we're not really going to need this room. Let's go ahead and turn on some gamma so we can see what we're doing here. Go ahead and shut this before a raptor comes in. Let's see, we have the CKF villager station. The masonry table is what used to build the castle structures. There's the settler table. We have the composite, which is the sci-fi crafting table. And then we have the decoration tables. This is the Eco's Aberration. The Eco's Garden Decor, which is definitely one of my favorite mods to play with if they have decor mods. I always use that on single player. There's Eco's Tech. There's the Furniture and Decor Crafting. And the Eco's Food Tray. Now I'm going to come over here, and nice, we don't have to take the individual structures anymore. This has a lot of really fun castle structures, different types of windows and walls, and the most fun thing with this mod, specifically if you've never played with CKF, oh, okay, well that tells what we need to get ready. Um, we are probably going to spend some time tomorrow. I don't think we'll make a stream for it just because it's purely going to be harvesting, but we are going to work on getting together a lot of the materials. Each of these foundations takes 90 metal, 50 stone, 10 cementing paste, um, 
I might actually have to start with one of the other ones and upgrade to the castles later. Let's see. This looks like this is the wood tier. Let's see what the foundation takes. Stone, stone thatch, wood. That's the villager. Settler is... Yeah, okay, so Settler is the wood tier, Villager is the stone tier. I think we're going to go ahead and start with the stone tier for this first base and upgrade later to the castles. We'll have to see if we can figure out a way to manage the cementing paste. Otherwise, um, I'd prefer to use the castles. CKF has a lot, the castles specifically have a lot of fun... Um, textures and colors that you can use. Um, you can even make the uh, walls look like lava if they still have that. It used to be that way at least. Let's see, the tech decor got everything from stools and beds and chairs, maps, um, apparently special uh, refrigerators. Oh, they look like little, um, <laughs> they look like specimen chambers. Interesting. Different storages. I'll have to make a sci-fi base later. That looks like fun. Either that or make a sci-fi room. CKF, there's a lot of, fa or the Eco's Garden, there's a lot of interesting fountains. Um different fancy structures. There's stained glass that looks really nice for the windows. Um, there's a water floor that's a lot of fun. Let me go ahead and make one of these. I can show everyone this for a few moments. You can take this and connect it. I'm definitely going to be using some of this later. And connect it and you get this little plob of water. It's obviously not real, it's just a structure. But if you surround it with wooden foundations, put some rails up, it looks like you have a nice little pond. And then you can also make it show fish, and you get these cool little coelacanth just swimming around in there. Again, none of it's real, but it still is a lot of fun and looks really cool. The garden decor also allows for putting plants in different places. Um, there's topiaries, there's bonsai, different kinds of hanging plants. Doesn't look like they have the trees and the normal plants that they used to have. That might be the other, the trees mod different types of lights and such, colored lights, different little fences. And then the aberration decor is a lot of fun. It's got different crystals that you can place, a lot of which glow. There's different trees from aberration. Um, different decorations, lamps head mounts you can put up on the wall, mushrooms including some that glow, different kinds of plants that you would find in aberration, and then little specialty rocks including element rocks. The um, furniture and decor, this is stuff for making like houses, there's bathroom stuff, there's map tables and lights and storages that look like um, kitchen cabinets and trophies. Um, there's different types of chairs and thrones and stuff, beds. And then you have the food tray, which is definitely for role play. You can make a full kitchen with counters and pantries and tables. They actually do work as storage. They're very small. Um, there's a sink that you can hook up to water and it will actually produce water. A dye mixer, you can actually make dyes in it. 
cooker, works for cooking meats. Um, all of these things are pretty much usable for different things. Um, they have consumables. You actually can eat these. And then they have decorative foods that you could build yourself a little table and have holiday treats and pumpkin pie and a big roasted pig in the middle of it. So um, it's got a lot of fun aspects to it. Now this is actually brand new for me. I have never used the sci-fi CKF. We'll definitely have to spend some time playing around with that later. I might go on to single player and just see what this has to offer. Oops. But yes, um, we are going to spend, as I said, part of tomorrow just harvesting resources. Um, we're not going to do any building yet. That will be on the stream for Wednesday morning. But um, we'll go ahead and get the resources, as many of them ahead of time as possible. So you don't have to sit here watching us gather resources all day. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. We have the structures that we need built. Um, fortunately, that base saver was actually a different server that we almost used. And um, I guess that's it for now. Hope everyone has a good day. And if you are interested, we will be doing a live stream tomorrow around 6 a.m. around now where I will be working on building up the base, tearing this down, and um, making a lot more decorative of a base. You're pretty. Sorry. Easily distracted. But um, we'll be turning this into a lot fancier, a lot nicer base. So on that note... Have a good rest of your day and hopefully we will see you tomorrow.